Active in Nitro Reviews and we're looking at the Andy Ello album Superconductor. This is day two, track two. We're going to look at the track People Pleaser. Now People Pleaser was the single from this album and it really kind of uh, was with the big hit for Andy Ello. It was, a, it was an amazing video. It's on YouTube at the moment. You can check it out. It's a fantastic video. You've got phenomenal horns. I mean this song is all about the horns. You've got fantastic musicians, you've got Andy Allo singing, she looks great. It's a really fantastic performance. So if you get a chance, check that out on YouTube, the People Pleaser video. Now this track is probably one of the best known and I think one of the most loved tracks on this album. It's a deep, funky, bassy, drum and horn sort of um, track. You've got these kind of horn stabs, fantastic uh, musical work. You've got to say the musicians in this uh, in this track really lift this song and obviously you also you've got um, an overdub by Maceo Parker and you've also got the horn heads, you've got phenomenal work here and Idy Nelson as well. In fact this is the first track to feature Idy Nelson, the first officially released track um, sort of that Idy Nelson has done in, in the Prince world and also the first track that Trombone Shorty he also features. Now I've got to say this track is impressive for a number of reasons. First of all, Andy Allo wrote this track. It's confirmed that she wrote it, she wrote it on her own. And the lyrical content is, is really quite impressive. It's a really you know, in interesting song. The sentiment of the song I find really fascinating. It's kind of, um, uh, it's it, this idea of kind of leasing people and it's really not about what you want. And I find that really fascinating. Originally, Andy Allo said this was more of a kind of blues track, but then it morphed into, after she spoke with Prince, kind of a funk track. Um, so I find this quite interesting. Some of the lyrics, really sort of display this. So that's so consumed with being nice that I forgot to live my life. Such a people pleaser. Now I see I wasted so much time. Yes, they like me, but they expect me to be there at a drop of a dime. Well, I changed my mind. I used to be a people pleaser, but I had a change of mind. I used to be a midnight teaser, but now I just take my time. And I just got like the idea of like, you know, you're trying to please people, it's all about other people. And you say, no, this is gonna be about me. It's gonna be about, what I want to do and the things I want to enjoy. So I find that really quite fascinating. At one minute 30, you've got a sax solo and it's just funk on a stick. It's a fantastic sax solo. It just lets it go and it really adds to this song. This song is quite long, it's five minutes 30. So to have the sax solo kind of breaks it up a little bit and really adds to it. Um, the lyrics again, Andy Allen's lyrics, you've got to say as a songwriter, this is you know impressive stuff. She talks about you're so obsessed with holding on that I forgot to just let go. Listening to abusive speech instead of letting feelings show. I'm so tired of dealing with these guys. All they do is take from their actions and their reactions. You both know, you and I both know it's fake. And it's kind of, you know, dealing with these superfluous kind of um, commitments we have sometimes. We don't put ourselves first. And it's just, I don't know, it's a really fascinating song. At uh, 2 minutes 37, you've got one of the best trombone solos you're ever going to hear. It's a phenomenal trombone solo. Um, it's just one of the funkiest kind of moments where a, you know, a real musician just lets it go and just you know, gives a phenomenal performance. So just you know, fantastic work on that. You've got great work on this album, just musically anyway, but this is a real high point at 2 minutes 37. Also at 3.19, you've got this time where there's a kind of chant of like, it, there's a time to raise your voice and a time to raise your hand. And it's kind of like this call to arms. And you've got nice guitar licks at 4 minutes 11. And at 4.20, it sort of stops and then it just comes back for another minute of funk. And then it goes into this kind of like um, spoken word section where it talks about Jim Crow, Corn Row, Afro, We Grow, New Show, Cash Flow, Big Doe. And it just kind of really rhymes. It's really alliterative and uh, you know, really kind of interesting idea. This is, you know, the kind of track that really pushed this album. It was um, released as a single just before the album came out. And it's this kind of really... Um, it had been around for a while this song, it had been sort of trailed a little bit before, but this really pushed the album and this is one of the kind of best known uh, songs. As I said, on YouTube it's very popular, you know, many, many thousands of hits and I just think it's a, you know, it's a fantastic song. If you want to get into the kind of funky side of Andy Allo, she has these different sides, the sides of ballads and the side of this kind of, this kind of strutting, you know, uh, interesting funk and I just think this is you know a classic song this is one of the highlights of the album a truly fantastic song check it out it's on YouTube how often can I say that about a Prince related song um, but it's on YouTube and yellow people please